Leia Alejandri. This time trying to find the run of Jill Ward. Lay off to Mary Fowler. Lauren Hemp peeling away as Jill Ward takes up a central position in the penalty area. If she can be found, Wahabi will got a chance to stand this one up. Here's the comeback. Mary Fowler gets the shot away. Held by King Mishemic. First real chance of the game, Tash. Yeah, I think that came from really good for the ball at Mary Fowler's feet. But what happened? Mary Fowler dropped deep. Jill Ward runs in behind. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Here is Yui Hasegawa. Faced up by Rico Oeki. Alex Greenwood into the feet of Fowler. Hasegawa. Up to Chloe Kelly. Laura Blinkilda Brown had made the run into the feet of Fowler. West Ham have ganged up on the young Australian. We might run through here to Lauren Hemp. Can she get the shot away? Does and City get the breakthrough? Lauren Hemp, the goal scorer. Nine goal in the joint stadium. Well, they'll take it. Mary Fowler headed into traffic. The ball has somehow worked its way to herself. And what a finish this is for Lauren Hemp. Just when it looked like the moment may have gone, Lauren Hemp, enough composure to steady herself. And what about that for a finish, Tass? Yeah, it was really good. I think what happened, West Ham was just holding the line. They thought they were playing someone offside, but the, the line was disjointed, and that's what's going to happen. If you're not all working together, that is what City are looking for. They're looking for that weak link. And West Ham all stopped. Everyone always says, play to the whistle. Yep. Lauren Hemp sneaks in. She did really well. She wanted it on her left foot, so she had the turn, come back and then try and slot it home. So, really, really good in anticipation. Moving through the gears and the 30 with acceleration, Jill Ward has got plenty to aim at, including Mary Fowler, Chloe Kelly. Jill Ward might go alone here. Oh, what a moment that would have been. Terrific run. Yeah, well, she's really good. I think people forget how, re how, how strong she is on the ball physically. I think she's really hard to get knocked off the ball. So, it's what you want to see. It, it shows confidence. It shows that she's not scared of what's happens in regards to her injury. Camp should be taken over on the far side. Katrina Gori to Asai. Gori making the forward run, if they can get this ball in, West Ham. That's not a bad ball in, in fact. Well, the header has just been angled wide, but it will go down as a chance for West Ham. But that has to go down as a chance. Just looking at the header again. Who now has to get back because Jill Rod has found a pocket of space to tee up Lauren Hemp. Fowler in the middle. Blink Kilda Brown, Chloe Kelly, so Jill Jill Rod. Here is Jill Rod. Alejandri up there as well. Wahabi. There's the ball. Chloe Kelly, the target. Taking up. And it will be Alex Greenwood to send this in. There's a bit of whip on that ball. It was dangerous. Um, Alex Greenwood just. I don't know, is she entitled to ask? Yeah, well, it was a great idea. It was in that little channel that the, the goalkeeper doesn't want to come out towards. And also it will be with the corner. Something maybe off the training ground here. Lauren Hemp trying to create the angle. Well, Harvey deflected over. So it's going to be another corner. The training ground here, Tash. Yeah, it certainly was. You, you don't see many short corners often. Oh. But... Brighton, last time out in Women's Super League. Don't care how the winds come as long as they keep coming. Blink Kilda Brown finding the space to move into. Chloe Kelly asking for it. Kirsten Cashbry. Blink Kilda Brown. Hasegawa calling for the ball. Hasegawa into the penalty area. Comes out the penalty area. Back in. Ball slipped to the back post area. Lauren Hemp gets the climb. But it will to West Ham. But just another montage there, Tash, of when City decide to move through those gears. They really can ask questions. Yeah, and it just pours. Sam United, nil. If you've been out and about on Sunday... Here is Lauren Hemp. Looking for the give and go, perhaps with Jill Rhodes, Hasegawa. Alejandri coming onto the ball. And now Cash Bright. Again, plenty of players forward. Chloe Kelly. Chloe Kelly gets the cut back. Jill Rhodes with a chance. Blocked at source and then swiped clear. Fowler to aim at as well. Jill Rhodes. And now Lauren Hemp. Again, another. Searching first time ball in, and I know what you're thinking here, Tash. Why is nobody gambling there? That's the obvious question. We'll just see this out. Chloe Kelly, well, a bit of a physical duel. Rico Oweki back in again, helping out the Japan international. But let's go back to that, Tash. I mean, whatever you're playing, any forwards that you're 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 in there is, can you get one to go run across the front post or run across the goalkeeper's vision? 
Defender in an advanced position here. Amber Tiziak, it goes out to Viviana Sayi. And then Anouk Denton. Harry's to aim at in the middle, goes to the near post area. And it has to be dealt with. Rico Oeki looking to ghost in for West Ham. Ash Bright, about six to go before half time. They will not want to concede here. And that's good. To Fiona Stotter can say in a central position here and is an aerial threat for the visitors. And Luke Denton on Ayuki Yamashita has to make the save. Fiona Stotter had taken up a good position. Amber Tiziak has stayed up. And the ball in the end comes to nothing for West Ham with the corner then for Manchester City. Fizzed into that near post area. Uh, I think the defender thought it was going out of play in any event, and indeed it has. Uh, move into. Lauren Hemp is bypass, but should get this second phase. Medemar with the layoff. Here is Lauren Hemp. A burst of acceleration coming onto the ball. Gets the shot away and rattles the woodwork. And they couldn't make. When she is driving at you with that much pace as well, I think it's one of her strengths that people don't look at. Chloe Kelly into the box. Here's the cutback looking for Fowler. Chance for Hemp and puts it over. What a chance for Lauren Hemp to grab her second as we look. This would have been. Lauren Hemp, let's fly. May have been a fingertip. Here we go. Burst of acceleration. Oh, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah. It's just a great a, save, really it good save. It was. Yeah, and just what? A second within 60 seconds. Chloe Kelly runs all the way through to Lauren. Did she know she had time, Tash? I... To Asagawa and Miramar. To Hemp. Miramar asking for it, so to Wahabi. Asagawa coming onto the ball. Then Miramar gets the shot away. Fight. And maybe in the end, a bit of frustration that uh, Viv Miramar. Fair bit of traffic at that back post area. There is the ball in. It is deep. Kept alive by Mary Fowler. And almost a chance for Lauren Hemp. How many chances this afternoon? Mary Fowler doing ever so well at the back post area to send it back across and then uh, Lauren Hemp, it's another chance to hash. Oh, what a lovely find that was. Just peeling off in Miramar with the strike. Chloe Kelly coming onto the ball, it's been sent clear. Now Alex Greenwood, shoot is the call. Not a bad effort from the captain. A little bit, can he just drive a little bit more? Follow that with that shot, just use the follow. Sayez. What is in the box here for West Ham? Yamashita thought about coming for it. And then coming onto the ball, it will go. Deportivo Cali in the summer. One of a number of summer signings for West Ham United. Fujino, instant first time layoff. The substitution looking to make an immediate impact. Oh, that looks a bit short. Buddy Shaw might be in here. Has it all to do? The angle against the Jamaica striker standing the ball up at the back post area. But City do get a second. Well, Buddy Shaw this time, goal provider. Looking again. Oh, it's just a bit short, isn't it? From Zagorski. Buddy Shaw doing ever so well. Thought about going alone and then standing the ball up. And Mary Fowler with the final touch to make it Manchester City 2, West Ham 0. Yeah, I, I think it was short, but it was great anticipation. That's, that's what we talk about, front foot defending, is that's what we want to see, being aggressive, anticipating things. But as much as it was... ...with what's happening elsewhere, and all the fixture housekeeping that you need as well. Into the feet of Bunny Shaw, who again gets the turn. There's the ball in, it's dangerous. Shimek, well, Harvey coming on to it. Oh, he's off the woodwork. What a strike. Made him out on the follow-up again, it's blocked. What an effort that would have been from... It's everything, isn't it? Here's that chance again. Bunny Shaw fist across. Well, Harvey, oh, what a strike. Yeah, I think she, she did what she could have done with that. She was coming on at pace, being closed down really quick. Fugino. Fugino keeps going. Good ball. Oh, just almost onto the head of Neymar, who'd made the run. And that was a lovely teasing, searching ball. A good chance here, Tash. Yeah, Fugino, I think she. What, what I've seen of her in previous games, she's very good at crossing the ball. So she doesn't. It's the right idea. Didn't quite come off. Then the clearance from Lee Mengwen. If Oweki can keep this in, she does brilliantly. Manuela Pavi, who has it all to do to try and get the better of Alana Kennedy, but does so. That duel continues. Was the contact there? The 
think it's the assistant, and between them, the referee agreeing. Alana Kennedy with the foul on Manuela Pavi. Bit harsh, I think, from the referee. Yeah. I... Camilla Saez, curling, left-footed effort, well held by Ayaka Yamashita. Headed it back in, Denton with the half clearance. Cash Bray. Out to Alba Fugino. Nadamar asking for it in the middle. And then headed away by Saez as the referee blows for full time. And it ends Manchester City 2. West Ham United 0. Goal scorers Lauren Hemp and Mary Fowler. Manchester City women putting back to back wins together for the first time in the Barclays Women's Super League this season. More problems for West